Hey, it's me again, your girl Shay. Um, so here are my thoughts about narcs. Um, when they cannot kill your hopes and dreams, they'll assassinate your character. Um, in other words, that's basically what the smear campaign is for when they go around talking they stuff. Let them talk they stuff, whatever. Because at the end of the day, I feel that my character speaks for itself, point blank, period. Anybody who's willing to believe a narcissist, their rumors, their lies, their gossip, those people don't belong in your life, point blank, period. Those who are smart enough to know that there's two sides to every story and they are willing to hear you out and then they make their decision from there, those are more likely the better people for you, you know. Um, narcissists just love to turn people against you when they can't have their way. Um, they have to win. They have to win. That's all it is about. Um, you know, they feel like recruiting people, rec recruiting uh, like an army of people to validate their side of the story so that they seem right when they're wrong it's all about winning you know um they can try to assassinate your character but it, it doesn't work I mean you know what I'm saying I had an issue with that where <laughs> multiple narcissists that were in my life whether they were co-workers uh ex-friends ex-family members, ex-partners, whatever. You can't assassinate my character because one, I have the ability to grow, change, and evolve. The narcissist does never, they never grow. They never change. They never evolve. They stay the same and they think because they are the same, you are the same as when they met you and you're not. So they always underestimate their prey. And I say prey because anybody can fall prey to a narcissist. You can have all the book knowledge out there on narcissism and still be tricked. Just take your time when meeting people. Because, you know, I had to learn. I, there's a lot of things that I had to learn the hard way. And that's fine. Um, because I'm still thankful for all those lessons. See... I live by a model. You never lose. You just learned a lesson. Learn the lesson and just know that you never lost. Because like normal people can accept failure. Failure, if you fail, okay, try again. But when you try again, you're not starting from scratch. You're starting from a little bit of, you gain some type of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? And see, that's the thing. Narcissists literally are idiots they are stupid they are inherently lazy but yet they call everybody else on planet earth stupid and you know lazy and all these things that is them <laughs> and i just find it so funny but anyways um the a favorite line of a narcissist that is trying to purposely uh, be two-faced while assassinating your character is they love to use the words they and them. For example, well, you know, they said that, you know, you ain't this and that and the third, blah, blah, blah. You know, um, you better stop shining for them. You, better, you know what I'm saying? They use they and them, which are very vague words when telling you that, such and such is gossiping about you or they're talking about you they're this they're that you know what i'm saying and one thing that narcissists lack is clarity when you, you know like for, i'm gonna give you a, a real life example my mom would use they and them they don't like you they hate you you know why are you even hanging out with them they don't they don't like you and this and that meaning meanwhile you're sabotaging behind my back. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to give you an example. For example, uh, 
in college, you know, my college friends, um, they came to visit me um, one summer. And uh, no, I think it was like spring break or something. I can't remember, but I remember they came to visit and it was like for a week. And the whole time my mom was an angel. Uh, this this lady don't cook. She don't know how to cook, but magically you cooking and barbecue grilling and you know, um, you know, just just bring put putting on the works, putting on the works. And in my mind, I'm like, you don't even like people coming to the house because you think people steal. Meanwhile, you are a thief yourself. Wow. And I say she is a thief because she stole my joy. She stole my happiness. You know, she attempted to kill me spiritually, which is, which set me into like a depression. And at one point I wanted to commit suicide when I was younger. Um, you know, like it was a lot that I dealt with and, um, narcissists are here to kill, steal, and destroy. And they look for silly, silly people. Um, silly meaning just simple. You don't know anything. And growing up with a narcissist or in a narcissist home, you think things are normal when it's not normal. Um... But whatever the case is, um, narcissists, they're just weak individuals. Um, they generally try to just bring you down, assassinate your character because they themselves, they envy. They envy who you are. They want to be you, but they can't. They think hanging around you or trying to be buddy buddy with you that your great qualities that everyone else sees and loves and enjoys they think that those qualities can rub off on them and no sweetheart it's either in you or it's not and for a narcissist it's not they are empty vessels they're an empty cedar they probably i don't think they have souls or if they once upon a time did, they sold it to the devil himself. Either way, I don't look at these people as people. I look at them as creatures, monsters, and the devil incarnate themselves. That's just how my view on them. And me looking at them like that, it keeps me far from them. And it also helps me not to be, not to feel sad or like guilty or um you know what i'm saying because they don't deserve your sympathy they don't deserve for you to feel sorry for them they don't deserve your attention they don't deserve a damn thing from you not your smile not your hello nothing nothing at all but generally when you have a person like them who um they lack fortitude and strength to endure obstacles um they feel that they can't be successful they're scarcity minded um they're in extreme competition with you um but all i can say is like you know when they start doing when they start speaking bad about you you just gotta understand you know where they stand you know they're not anybody that you want in your life or that you should like um if they if they are talking bad about you and just trying to basically kill your character, don't even respond. I know it's hard not to. Ah, I had to keep pausing my video because my dog on cat sitting over here scratching stuff, and uh, she always wants to do stuff when I'm busy recording, like right now. Any other time, off sleep in a corner somewhere. But no, I just wanna I wanna make noise and be noticed. And girl, don't know ain't nobody worrying about you. <laughs> But okay, so back to what I was saying. So when they're trying, when they're talking about you trying to kill your character and all this stuff, don't respond to it because you know what's crazy. It'll make them look crazy because all, they're saying all this stuff about you. Just having your name in your, you know, they they stay with your name in their mouth. But the fact that you don't respond, you don't pay them no attention, you brush it off, you ignore it. 
everyone's going to see that the problem is them because they ain't tripping off of you. They ain't thinking about you. They not responding to nothing that anybody is saying that you said to them. When somebody comes to you and say, you know, such and such said this or that. And you just shut it down and be like, don't bring them up to me. I don't care. Or you walk away from people every time they mention uh, that person who is trying to destroy you. They're going to be like, you know, they never have anything to say good or bad about this person but this person stays talking evil and bad about them hmm something must be wrong with this individual that's how that's going to play out and that's how it has played out for me many a times you, some, a lot of times when you think that you have to respond you really truly don't have to respond because people are gonna see it may take some time but they're gonna see um um, another thing, um, energy is a real thing. So people can feel your energy and, 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 and being able to feel that, then they should know not to believe the gossip, the hype, the lies, the, the smear campaign, all of that nonsense. They should know not to believe in that, you know? Um, but Hey, whatever. Anyways, I just wanted to talk to y'all about that. All right. Talk to y'all later. Until next time.